everybody, Steve Nixon again with FreeJazzLessons.com. Thrilled you guys can join me today. All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at a very simple but very powerful way of sort of changing and reharmonizing the ending of your tunes to make them a little bit more interesting so they don't just sound kind of boring and stock at the end. Um, I always notate all the lessons and throw them on FreeJazzLessons.com. I will put the URL right below this video. All right, let's get to learning, thanks. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at the classic jazz standard, It Could Happen to You, okay? It's in the key of E flat, and we're gonna just study the basic way that you end the tune, which is very similar to many of the jazz standards out there, and we're just gonna show you a couple little variations. Um, just some more interesting ideas you can add in your playing, okay? So normally it ends with F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major or E flat major seven. Okay, so the melody would be like. Okay, so that's cool. You know, it's standard, it's inside. But what if we change the one chord at the end, that E flat major seven? All right, and what if we used another chord that had E flat in there, okay, as a resolution point? So what if we use D flat major seven? So that works perfectly because the nine of D flat major seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is E flat. So check this out. Okay, see how nice that sounds? Sort of delays the resolution. And we could go chromatically up if we wanted to. So what we're doing here, if you want to know the theory, is D flat major seven is the flat seven major seven of the key we're in, okay? So check this out again. So whenever you see your one chord, you can substitute it at the very end with a flat seven major seven, as long as the melody is the root of the key you're in.